Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about how to create the standard curve using observance and concentration and how to determine the concentration of unknown substance uh, from the standard curve in Excel. The first step is measuring the concentration of different standard samples. Okay, so when we measure the concentration, we measure at least two times and making technical replicates okay so the observance for each sample is measured two times okay so therefore we have observance one and observance two for example for the standard containing zero microgram per ml concentration the observance one is 0 0.1 and observance two is 0 0.009 okay and similarly we will measure a two times constant observance for each of these constant standards and we will get the different observance values, okay? Observance 1 and observance 2. So after, uh, determining, the, uh, after get, determining the observance value, the next step is to calculate the average of these two values, okay? So then what we do, we simply take the average of these observance, okay? So that means that I'm, we're just going to add these two values and divide them by 2, okay? So this will give us the average absorbance okay so then for to determine the absor absorbance for other standard samples i'm just gonna drag it down okay so now we have determined the average absorbance for each of these standard samples the next thing is to determine the absorbance for these the final absorbance okay absorbance so final absorbance is a absorbance of standard minus absorbance of the standard um, containing zero microgram per ml concentration because this the, ideally there should be no absorbance but here we observe some absorbance that means that is indicating some kind of background so to determine the final absorbance what we do we simply um, subtract from this average value uh, what we subtract is we subtract this 0 0.0.0095 okay so then so this is the final absorbance. It should be zero and we have zero, right? So then to determine the final absorbance for other samples, I'm just gonna drag it down, okay? So now we have final absorbance and we have standard concentrations, right? So what is the next step now? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna put the final absorbance and the standard concentration together, okay? So, so then Okay, as you see here, we have I have here final observance I already copied, and I also have here fine standard concentration. This is from here. Final observance is the absorbance value. So then the next step is to create the standard curve. So to create the standard curve, so what we have to do, I will just select these two. Okay, first I will select these two, and then I'm gonna go to insert, and in the insert I will go to this okay scatter and i'm gonna select the first scatter plot okay so what did i do i went to insert and then to scatter and to first scatter plot okay so this i already did so don't need to do it again so then i'm just gonna enlarge it a bit so what i'm gonna do now is that on this scattered plot okay on this scattered plot i'm gonna add the train line okay so to do that i'll go here to the plus chart elements and then i'm gonna go to trend line and then i will just i will just go to trend line and then i'm gonna select on linear okay so now i have added the trend line on this chart and just i'm gonna go to more options and in the more options okay if you drag it down further we have to find where it says show display equation on chart okay i'm gonna select this display equation on chart and I'm also going to select display R squared value on chart. Okay, so now we have the equation and R squared value both displayed on this chart. Okay, equation and R squared value both value both are displayed on this chart. Okay, so I'm just going to increase the size so that it's visible for you. Okay, so now we have this R squared value and the equation displayed on the chart. All right. So then how can we determine the concentration of unknown samples? So in these equation, okay, this Y refers to the observance and X refers to the concentration of unknown samples, okay? So, 
So then to determine the concentration of unknown samples, we have to know the absorbance of unknown sample because in this equation, y refers to absorbance and x refers to the concentration. So then absorbance. This equation can be rewritten as x equals to y plus 0 0.0455 divided by 0 0.0021. Okay, so what we have to do, then this equation demands the value of y. Okay, therefore we have to have the observance value of our unknown samples. So that uh, we already have, I can show you that, okay, here are the four different unknown samples and the final observance value for these uh, unknown samples is let's say 0 0.0126, 0 0.0333 and so on. So to determine the concentration, then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the equation, okay, equal to, and so this is equal to sign and y, y will be this, I'll start the bracket, the y, y will be this observance, observance value for the sample one, and then plus 0 0.0, 0 0.044, 0 0.0455, 0 0.0455, and the bracket is closed, divided by 0 0.0.0021, okay, exactly this equation, okay, y plus 0 0.0455 divided by 0 0.0021, I'm just going to hit enter, so this is the concentration of our sample one, similarly, to determine the concentration of other samples, I just need to drag it down. Okay, so now we have gotten the concentration of different samples, okay? So it's pretty simple uh, to determine the concentration of unknown sample using the standard curve. I'm gonna explain one more time. First, determine the observance of the standard samples, calculate the average and subtract, uh, calculate the final average value by subtracting the observance from the standard sample containing zero, okay, and microgram or zero, zero concentration. And after that, bring together concentration and absorbance and create the standard curve, create the standard curve. And in the standard curve, you just need to display the equation and R square value. For that, you just need to go to trend line and show trend line and go to display equation and show R square value. So in this equation, X is the concentration of unknown sample and Y is the absorbance, rewrite the equation and similarly determine the concentrate, determine the absorbance, determine the absorbance of unknown samples, okay? This is, this is the final absorbance, okay? You do the technical replicates, determine the average and this, this is your final absorbance and simply put the value of this absorbance in this equation to get the concentration of unknown samples.